Well, all new tonight, donations are driving the development of new job opportunities here in Georgia. That's right. Goodwill is actually leading the charge to train hundreds of people to set up and maintain electric vehicle charging stations. Our Joe Ripley is taking a look at what this program will look like. I'm from Ohio. Northeast Ohio. From the Rust Belt. I love working with tech. I like I like fixing things with my hands. To the next innovation on Georgia's roads. Adrian Johnson has a knack for technology. Now, I don't want to be the old person who's scared of technology or afraid of how things are changing. I want to be adapt to whatever new phases come in technology-wise, whether it be cars, cell phones. <laughs> He's plugged in to the new Clean Tech Infrastructure Academy, a training program set up by Goodwill, Accenture, and others to develop a workforce for Georgia's growing electric vehicle industry. Goodwill of North Georgia CEO Keith Parker says technicians will learn to set up and maintain EV charging stations, solar panels, and heat pumps. We are particularly good at helping people with barriers to employment. People coming out of the criminal justice system, people with disabilities, folks who might be retired military. There are over a dozen people in the first cohort of technicians set to be trained. And after a four week training period, they'll be able to start by making $30 an hour. It's the innovation, it's the future. So outside looking in, it probably does look like rocket science. Kiana Scott with Charger Help helped develop the program to sound less like rocket science. Aspiring techs don't need a college degree and they'll go to work in a landscape that's seen billions in EV related investment here in Georgia from Kia, Hyundai, Rivian and battery companies. The new and the old have come together and I think we've really aligned on the mission and the vision here which is to make sure that we continue to provide access, continue to improve equity, continue to open the doors to the information. Adrian Johnson's walking right through that door, hoping it charges his love for getting folks from point A to point B. I don't really have like a cap or like a roof of where I want to be. I'm just open to whatever opportunities that interest me that come along. Indicator Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.